Fine by me. Welcome to the Silver Rush, New Vegas' best source of laser and plasma weapons.
Howdy, young lady. How can I help you? But make it quick. Goddamn heat's worse in this town than in the middle of a Brahmin herd at noon. Sharp eyes on you, all right. We've gone through a heap of trouble to get in town. Ethel says I just need to wet my throat. A drink? Nonsense. All I need now is to settle a score. We didn't come a long ways just to stroll our best clothes around. There's a long list of grievances that Heck Gunderson's got to answer for, kid. I'm here to make sure that rancher stops stealing our lands. If he ain't chiseling behind your back, he just sends his men ready for a fight. Then you either sell your ranch for a penny, or you're dead. I'm tired of being trampled over, kid. And I got a good mind to stop Heck once and for all. What more you want? He's a slithering snake, what he is. One of the biggest landowners this side of the Colorado, and it's all stolen, I tell you. All that money buys him any NCR senators he wants. Scoundrels like Heck. There's just no way for us small folks to get by, much less prosper, kid. Sure, kid. And I still hump like a buck in spring. That Gunderson's a liar and born of a viper, I swear. I have no illusions that he'll ever stop his plundering, so I'm just gonna make him suffer. That's what I'm gonna do. Here in town, he's got a few of his armed men to protect him. I just gotta find out what he's up to, and then I'll know where to hit him hard. Oh, be damned. You mean the young Gunderson? That's a shaved tail if I ever saw one. He's got less sense than a Brahmin at a crossroads. I'd not be one to complain if you got lost for good, kid. If it makes Hex suffer, then I'm all for it. So Ted's nowhere to be found, and Hex quite unprotected while looking for him, huh? Hell, it sounds like the perfect time to get even. Hex won't know what hit him. What do you say? I hear you. What's on your mind? <laughs> Ethel's gonna be madder than a wet hen. But you reap what you sow, kid. And Hex earned every ounce of misery he gets. So we have a deal? All right, kid. Be good. Howdy. Interested in a refreshing beverage or a tasty snack? Nope. Strictly independent. Well, kind of independent. To vend anything here on the Strip, you gotta register with one of those police robots and sign a franchisee agreement. At the end of each day, you keep half of what you made. The rest you hand over to those bots, and they know if you're cheating. Yep, he makes the rules. It's steep, but it sure beats living in North Vegas. Here on the Strip, I can afford to eat, and no one tries to kill me. Come back anytime. If you don't mind, I have to look after my husband. Oh, a good ways west of here, in a place you've never been. Far as we're concerned, only name it ever had was Phoebus Ranch. That was before we lost some land to Heck Gunderson. The bank demanded payment in full the day after the Stockman's Association bailed it out. A good life, if you don't mind hard work. The only real fuss is the constant bother with varmints. Fail to catch mole rats early in their breeding, and you'll have three or four head breaking their ankles in mole rat holes every day. Of course, the worst varmint of all is a Brahmin baron, with his hands in the pockets of a Republic senator. That's a problem you can't solve with a varmint rifle. Though I fear my husband's apt to try. 
He's got Heck Gunderson in his sights right now. He's got his reasons. And when that man gets a notion stuck in his head, he's like a bighorn or bull that's seen red. And if it means Heck Gunderson's involved, then you better step aside before the stampede tramples you over. If that's what you want to talk about, go see Walter. He'll talk your ear off. Everything he says about the evils of Heck Gunderson is true, but I've never held the notion that fighting evil with evil carries the world forward. I don't suppose you have the magic powers necessary to bring my husband to his senses, do you? He swears he won't leave this godforsaken city until he's seen Heck suffer. So far as I can see, we're the only ones in pain. That's very kind of you. Maybe this will be the dawn of a new day. Howdy. Good seeing you again. Darn far it is, our ranch. Ethel would be happy to yap about that. I got more important things in mind, kid. Bighorn is my trade since I was a young'un. I confess, it's hard living these days, kid. The wasteland ain't the same anymore. I know it better than my wife's corset. What about it, kid? Stealing our pure breed resolve, that's how. We faced the wasteland right in the old mug and told her to shove it. Listen, we own these lands, and I'll be damned if the NCR, those Legion bastards, or anyone else tries to walk all over us. Hell, it's all dangerous. Know why? Because you can't trust anything that stands on two legs. If you're looking for real trouble, head straight into the mountains. Men don't walk up there, for good reasons, kid. Listen, we own these lands, and I'll be dead. Okay. I hear you. What's on your mind? We are honest folk out there. Damn hard to make a living in the desert, kid. Heck's a different breed. Goddamn thief he is. Scaring us into giving away our lands is all he's done to strike it flush. Comes packing iron and none can hold a candle to his men. Bad blood. Like I said, kid, someone's got to rein in that greedy son of a gun. Kid, look around you. There's poison and death everywhere. And people like Heck are responsible for the misery we suffer. What right do they have to continue with their mischief and killing, huh? All right, kid. Be good. So the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrett's thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. It would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Let me show you the time of your life.
Welcome back. What can I get you? We ain't scraping again. Sure. People are talking, buddy. You've made quite an impression on this trip. I hear you've been making a name for yourself on the strip. Don't forget about the Wrangler if you make it big. Yes! Where's his hat? This is great news. No one screws with the Garrett twins and gets away with it. I need to find a place on the wall for this. And for your reward, here's 150 caps. I trust there were also some valuables on McCaffrey? Also, we would like to set you up with a room. You can have the corner room, rent free. It was McCaffrey's. Now that he's dead, we're happy to let you use it. Thanks for helping us. Later. Hey. Lasers, plasma, pistols, grenades. We've got it all. The king is all that his name implies, and then some. Hey. I want to go to the strip. We never get to go to Gamora anymore. What do you have for me? Ah, so it went down like that, huh? I guess it can't be helped now. Well, you're not subtle, but you get the job done. That's good enough for me. Maybe you can help me with something more important. A lot of folks around these parts who've been here a while resent the sheer number of people that have come into the area since the Strip was built. In turn, the newcomers, most of whom come from the NCR, have gotten ornery from being resented. Sometimes things get violent. This is one of those occasions. Recently, a few friends of mine were attacked, and I want you to find out who did it. Words come that they just woke up over at the old Mormon fort just north of here. Head on over, see if they remember anything. Good, I like that enthusiasm. Return when you have some information we can use.
You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? They want to buy Cassidy caravans? Don't they know it's burned to ash? No. Even times being what they are. Not sure I'm looking to sell. Even for all the whiskey in Reno. If someone came up to you and offered you a thousand caps for your name, would you take it? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I don't want to hear your answer anyway. Point is, I made the caravan what it is. It's mine. Alice McLafferty, eh? No, I see the zeros, and I know she's good for them. Still, it's not about the money. Dad'd spin like a twister if he ever heard I sold our name for anything. Look, I know you came all this way, and that takes some drive, especially these days. Just doesn't feel right, trading history for a slip of paper. That... that's a good point. It's the caravan clearance that's got me stuck here. I'm sure this bar's getting tired of propping me up. Still, Jackson's not letting me out of his sight as long as there's still trouble up north. You settle things with him, help the others around here too. I'll sign the paper if it means getting out of here. What's on your mind? You take care now. I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. Something else you needed? I'm short-handed here. Hell, now look, I appreciate... Uh, you know what? Yes, I could use the help. And you look like you can handle yourself. I need to get the caravans moving again. That means clearing a path north. There's too much crawling the asphalt up the road to allow it. Thanks, I appreciate it. Come back here when you're done. I might accidentally lose some supplies to pay you with.
Can't run from me. You're mine. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supply, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, a requisition form or two can get lost, and they're not gonna come check. So here you go, just between us. Appreciate the help. Wish I had more work for you, but nothing else on the radar at the moment. Take care. Appreciate the help. You come around like a bad habit. 
What's on your mind? Guess that settles that then. Give me that paper. I'll put my name to it. No sense trying to hold the past between your fingers when it's nothing but dirt. All right. There you go. Caravan's yours. Feel kind of relieved, actually. Guess I didn't realize how much I was carrying around with just the name. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. You got one too many by my count. You take care now. What is it? If that's what you think. I'll make my way there. You come around like a bad habit. What's on your mind? <sighs> That's the question I've been asking myself. No idea. Maybe head back west? Though the idea of heading back there with my tail between my legs isn't appealing. Go with you? And why the hell would I do that? Hmm. The outpost lost its charm about three bottles ago. And that was just this morning. Walking the Mojave with you can't be any worse than here, that's for sure. All right. I'm in. Fucking monument. Well, now that I'm free of the outpost, was wondering if you'd mind making a detour. I'd like to pay my respects to the end of Cassidy Caravans. Check out the site where they died. <sighs> Upside of Vegas, hear tell? Trapped at the Mojave outpost. So I wasn't able to run there when I heard. Been weeks since it was hit. So the site's probably a Cazador nest by now. Got word back on what happened from Rangers. Guess they found enough in the wreckage to identify it. <sighs> Only wishful thinking on my part, most likely. At the least, I'd like to pay my respects. I got them into this mess. I owe them that much. Thanks. I appreciate it. Some of the caravan might be ash, but we were expecting raiders and over-inquisitive NCR border guards. There might be something left. If I'm there with you, shouldn't be hard to spot. And I'd prefer to see the bodies with my own eyes. Ask them then. Well, no idea why your friend Mr. House wants it, but I'm guessing it's not for the caps. Ask them then. Gift for my dad, along with my name. Rose of Sharon Cassidy. Mom said he got the name out of some old world book about dirt pilgrims. Name sure sounds sweet, though. Anyway, Pendant's a little rose. Originally thought it was one of Mom's tribal necklaces, but no. Came from Dad. Not much to tell. He ended up walking east one day when I was young and never came back. Not a family deserter like some, though. Mom died waiting for him, and she had me to raise. She was sick. But she held off dying until I was old enough to be getting into trouble with the boys. As for Dad, I figure he just got himself lost or dead. Happens. And I'm not all boo-hoo about it, so save your glass for someone who's crying. Not a clue. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name... Got this pendant, and that's about it. Short of caps is what taught me mostly. Ammo's expensive, so I learned to make every shot count. And here tell my dad was a crack shot, so I don't want to dirty the family name. Not out of pride. Respect. 
Dynamite's for when you don't have enough bullets, want to clear a pass or scare off geckos from a caravan. Some of Twisters out of the Divide can block off a pass in no time, so you learn how to handle powder so you don't get trapped somewhere. Any event, I prefer shooting if it comes down to an argument. Don't worry, I'll carry my weight if a disagreement arises. What, you mean like spears? No, none of that. Mom was a tribal, but she didn't teach me anything like that. You know, like one of the tribes from the east? We got them out west, too. NCR's hardening them up, though, domesticating them. Mom was from east of the Colorado, though. Not sure what tribe. It was before the time Caesar rounded them up, made them legion. She walked a hell of a way until she crossed paths with my dad, and he convinced her to stop walking. And lucky for me, he was a horny old bastard. Didn't ask Mom to elaborate. Never heard her complain about his bedroom behavior. Only complain he wasn't around to do it no more. All right, then. God, there's almost nothing left. Looks like whoever it was, was just in the mood for killing. Most of the cargo's ash, too. Not burn, looks like disintegrated. When I heard the reports, I assumed ash meant burned. So close to the Vegas wall, too. Don't that beat all. Must have happened during the day, though. They hadn't made a camp. No idea. Maybe catch the sun in their eyes? Maybe they wanted the caravan to come to them, walk into an ambush. We should check the wagon. They may not have got everything. Whatever we find, it's yours. Least I can do for hoofing it all this way with me. You know what? What happened in my caravan? Not the first time I've heard about an attack like that. One of our caravans got hit a few months back, and the caravan been burned too, along with the cargo. I wonder if he made the same mistake, and that other caravan got hit with energy weapons too. Yeah, it's a ways though. Hell of a detour. You sure? All right then, let's move out. Just in time for your... Your ass whipping.
Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Guess they got wrapped.
breath. you now.
watch out for fiends. I hurt all over. That... I keep hearing about some courier making a fuss over at the Strip. Must have delivered more than just mail. I need my fix. Hey there. Prim is a new sheriff. That should keep the powder gangers away. More energy weapons hit this caravan. Place has been picked clean. This is Brotherhood level murder here. But they don't do things like that. This was done with a purpose. Let's poke around a bit, see what we can find. Might be something in the wreckage. What's that? Looks like a map. Got the route along the west of Vegas, and they've marked another spot. Over here, along this stretch. That's fucked up. Middle of nowhere. Yeah. Something's wrong. I can feel it. It's not any closer than the first. So if you'd rather let be, let me know. All right, then. Let's move out.
Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. I'm a fully qualified physician and can fix whatever is wrong with you for a reasonable fee. If you've got the caps, I've also got several implants available to enhance your physical attributes. Mental trauma can be just as debilitating as physical injuries. Fortunately, I'm well qualified in such treatment. I'll make time in my schedule. I have several basic implants available that can enhance your physical abilities, make you faster, smarter, stronger, that sort of thing. I've also got two much more expensive implants. One's a subdermal implant that will make you more resistant to damage. The other implant induces a mild regenerative effect. Your wounds will practically heal before your eyes. One other thing I forgot to mention, your body may be able to handle only a limited number of implants. The healthier you are, the more implants I'll be able to give you. Now, what surgery are you considering? That would be the Nemean Subdermal Armor. It's a bit pricey, 8,000 caps, but the implant causes your skin cells to be bolstered with iron. It won't make you bulletproof, but it will make you a little harder to injure. Very well. That's the Phoenix Monocyte Breeder. The implant speeds up cell regeneration, an effect similar to that of some lizards and sea creatures. The implant is very expensive, however. 12,000 caps. Very... Take care. Hey. Not sure who this friend of yours is, but if he's looking down on Vegas, he's either God or the moon. Another caravan burned. Except someone made camp here, and I never heard about this attack. Let's look around. Something stinks.
Let's deal. That does it. That's all I need to know. Crimson Caravan and the Van Graffs. They were behind burning these caravans, and they've got to answer for them. I'm gonna get some extra ammo, a few bottles of whiskey, and then show them how Cassidy's settle accounts. NCR? Are you out of your fucking mind? That'd take years. And with the war with the Legion, no way they're gonna waste time running up the Crimson Caravan or the Van Graffs. Don't care much for which one we kill first. Whether settling accounts with McLafferty or making that bitch Gloria eat her hair. The Van Graffs are gonna be tougher. So we'll likely get killed there. If we go to the Crimson Caravan camp, we'll just need a lot of bullets. Still, we give the Van Graffs the what for? That means all those guns they used on my caravan, we can take and use on the Crimson Caravan. All right then. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to purchase something? Come back and see us again soon. Welcome, sir or madam. Do you...
welcome, sir or madam. Do you wish to? McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. Welcome back. Yes, I understand that he's decided to quit outright and not even ask for compensation. I'm a bit curious what exactly you said to him. Then again, perhaps I'd rather not know. Thank you all the same. I'm very happy to be rid of that man. Very good. On occasion, it's proven to be more profitable in the long run to simply buy out the competition. And this is one of those occasions. Something has actually come up. A prospector recently came through here and spent a lot of caps on supplies. Closer inspection of these caps has revealed them to be brand new. This is a problem. The most likely source of these new caps is the old sarsaparilla bottling plant. Go there. Locate the bottle cap press and disable it. What would you like to know? People have been counterfeiting bottle caps forever, but it's always been small scale. A bottle cap press is a whole other threat. We can't have anyone devaluing our currency by mass producing new bottle caps. Certainly. Bottle caps do wear out or get damaged. Some people even insist on using bottle caps and explosive devices for some reason. We may get a point to scour pre-war bottling plants and recover or disable the bottle cap presses. Seems we missed one. Lots of little things. The paint on the label, the machining, the type of metal it's made from. I know there's counterfeit caps floating around, of course. Fortunately, they're very time-consuming to make, so the numbers are small. All right. It's been a pleasure.
You've done a good turn for the NCR, and now we'd like to do one for you. There's an NCR emergency two-way radio. You call, and we'll come run it. You're not alone out here. The NCR has your back. Stay safe and good hunting. Three-legged cattle move faster than this hand. 
withdraw, hold, or quit. Well, I'd hold on 21, too. <laughs> Looks like old Festus needs a miracle now, huh? Old Festus is gonna draw. Looks like I got an eight, partner. Drat! Old Festus needs more. You're holding, so old Festus will just go again. Old Festus is gonna... Looks like I got an ace, partner. Drat. You're holding. Old Fest. Looks like I got a ten, partner. Yeah, looks like you win, partner. Old Fest. If you'd like to play again, say play again. If you're done humiliating poor old Festus in his own game, say I'm done. That's too bad. Old Festus was looking forward to a good tussle. is requested. Please clear the area until order has been restored.
bad guys won't see us come. Anything moves, it's gonna get it. Time for some shit. Maybe I should switch to a squirt gun. Violence will not be tolerated. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law abiding. Citizens have nothing to fear. This area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. Violence will not be tolerated. Switch to a squirt gun. Fighting citizens, please leave the area.
McLafferty's been riding asses again. Better lay low. Welcome back. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. It's been a pleasure. McLafferty's a hard boss, but she knows what she's doing, that's for sure. <laughs>